Good morning. Welcome back. It's great to see you again. I hope you enjoyed last week's session. So remember we're doing about birds. So I wonder if you found your feather from last week. Let's start by singing our tenga koe. Have you got your waving hands already? Okay, that's great. And we can dance. Let's go, tenga koe. open with our karakia. E te atua homai ki a mātou, tou maramatanga, tou rangamariei, tou kaha, nei tou aroha, mō tēnā rā, āke, 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 āmene. Now we're going to do our song of the two little chickens. Have you got your fingers ready? Have you got your chickens? What chicken, what sound do chickens make? Have you seen a chicken lately? I haven't. So get your two little chickens ready and we'll do our song. <laughs> week. Let's go and get our props and I've got a surprise for you. I'll go off and get it. You go and get yours and I'll be back. See you soon. Did you get your props? And I've got a surprise. So I've got my props for my two little dicky birds and I've got a book. Can you see my book? So we're going to have a story today. Do you like stories? I like stories. Cook and play. We make new friends. Do you like seeing your friends? I bet you're missing your friends at the moment. Let's read our book. Hello, I am an elephant. Hello, I am a penguin. We are going to have friends come to our house to play. Look, can you see them? Can you see the elephant and the penguin? It's great to have friends over to play, isn't it? Penguin, we need to get ready. We need to tidy this room. Elephant, I'll help you and you help me. Now, can you see them helping each other? Oh, 
We were supposed to try and look for birds in the book too. If we turn back a page, can you see the bird? There's the birds. Remember our things about birds this week? Now, go back over the next page. When we have friends over, we like to cook. Do you like to cook? We like to make pikelets. Some people call them small pancakes. Can you see them getting ready? Do you like pikelets? I like cream on my pikelets. What do you like? Get the flour, elephant. I have the sugar and the milk and one egg, please. Be careful. Mix it around, penguin. You do it. You are doing a great job. We don't want to drop the egg, do we? Can you see the elephant with the egg? Don't drop it. It is time to heat the pan and cook the pikelets. Careful not to burn yourself, penguin. I will help you. Can you see? Penguin cooking, you have to be careful, don't you, around hot pans. Do you help your growing ups cook? What do you like cooking? Now we're going to end the book there this week and wait and see what happens next week. Wonder who's coming to play? Who do you think? Okay, we'll look forward to that next time. Now we're going to have a song and we're going to do our two little dicky birds. <laughs> have you got your props? From last week, were you able to get them all done and get your two little birds? Or did your growing up draw a picture for you and get them ready? Okay, let's get ready. So we're going to have our two little dicky birds. Oh, get them around the right way. Can you fly your dicky birds? Two little dicky birds sitting on a wall. Great work. You did well. I hope you had fun with making your props. Now we'll put our props away and we're going to do our five little ducks. Have you, if you haven't got little ducks, have you got your fingers for ducks? And we're going to do it in Te Reo this time. So you can follow along and listen to the words. So we're going to get, put on our five little ducks. So I've got Tahi, Roa, just as long as they don't fall off. Choro, Fa, and we've got one more. How many have we got? We've got four, haven't we? And one more makes Rima. Whoops, he's backwards. <laughs> we've got five little ducks. Have you got your five little ducks ready? Now I'll get Mother Duck. Could your growing up be Mother Duck? You can. Ready? Quack, quack. Let's do our five little ducks.
you're growing up and we're going to do Mr. Snail. I'm going to get my baby, put my little ducks away. Have you got your baby? And we're going to lie down on your tummy and we're going to do Mr. Snail. Enjoy your massage. Mr. Snail, Mr. Snail, you leave a shiny silver trail so we can see where you have been Slow, Mr. Snail, here comes the rain. The rain comes falling, pitter-patter, upon your hard and shiny back. The rain comes falling, pitter-patter. Slow, Mr. Snail. The sun, it comes shining through to brighten up your little room. The sun, it comes shining through. Slow, Mr. Snail. I hope you enjoyed your massage. I think my baby did, don't you? Now, we're going to do the kete. What's in the kete today? Let's have a look. Have you, do you know what's in my bag? Can you remember what we had last week? Do you remember? Let's have a look. See if I've got one. Can you remember? That's it, a feather, if I can find one. What feather have I got? Look, that's right, a feather. Lovely and soft. Did you find a feather last week? What bird was it from? We used to have some chickens that used to come and visit our house. I don't know where they were from. And one day I went out my front door and there in the bushes were some eggs. The chickens had been around. That's funny, isn't it? Now let's have a look what's our surprise this week in our bag, in our kite. What have we got? Can you have a look? Can you see? What have we got? Look. Oh, they're getting stuck. Let's see if I can get them out. What do you think they are? What do you think? They're twigs. See the twigs? What do twigs come from? Do they come from... A rock? No, they come from a tree, don't they? From branches, broken bits of twigs. Now, do you know what birds do with twigs? Have you seen them flying with bits in their beaks? They get bits and pieces and twigs to make nests, don't they? Can you see behind me? I've got a nest, we've got a nest here and they've got eggs in them. So the mother bird makes a nest out of all sorts of bits and pieces. Sometimes I'm seeing them fly with little bits of silver bits and they look for all sorts of pieces to make their nests, don't they? And they put their eggs in them to hatch for their babies. What colour are the twigs? Can you see? They're, it's an interesting colour, isn't it? It's almost a fawny, sort of browny, grey colour. All sorts of colours. Well, that's great. Maybe during the week when you go walking, if you go out with your fano, you might look up in the trees or down on the ground, you might find a nest and have a look at it. It's amazing how they make it. It's incredible. So that's our kite for today. We'll see what our surprise is next week. Have a think what it might be, talking about birds. Okay, let's put our kite away. And now... It's bubble time. Have you got your bubbles at home? Are you going to blow a bubble? Shall I blow you a bubble? Let's see. You catch the bubbles. Can you catch them? Quick. Catch them and pop them. Let's try again. Here we go. Quick. That's great going. You catch them. Shall we do our song? Okay. 
I'm a little bubble, round and clear. You can blow me up. I dance on air. Dance up to the ceiling. Then I drop. Just clap your hands and see me pop. Oh, quick, catch them. Can you catch them? Shall we do it again? I'm a little bubble, round and clear. You can blow me up. I dance on air, dance up to the ceiling, then I drop, just clap your hands <laughs> and see me pop. <laughs> Great going. Do you like bubbles? I love bubbles. Look, you can play with them. That's great work. You've done really well with the bubbles. What have we got now? Be nice just to relax and have another massage, do you think? Better get my baby. This time, we're going to do it on your tummy. Get mum, go up to your growing up. And if you don't like it on your tummy, maybe on your back. Okay. Is the baby all, all good? Make sure she's all okay. Okay. Let's do tum tum drum. Oh, poor baby. I can beat a rhythm on your tum tum drum. Snails slide, snails slide. What a lovely tum tum drum. I can beat a rhythm on your tum tum drum. Kiwis poke, kiwis poke. What a lovely tum tum drum. I can beat a rhythm on your tum tum drum. Jellyfish jiggle, jellyfish jiggle. What a lovely tum tum drum. I can beat a rhythm on your tum tum drum. Tom tip toes go tickle, tickle, tickle. Tom tip toes go tickle, tickle, tickle. What a lovely tum tum drum. That was great work. Are you ticklish? I'm ticklish. Ooh. Okay. What are we thankful for today? I think it's great to be able to play with our friends, see our friends, like in the story, the penguin and the elephant. They were friends, weren't they? I bet, do you miss your friends at the moment? And able to go out and maybe meet them at the park? It's nice friends, isn't it? So I think we can thank God for our friends and our families at a time like this. So let's do our thankful. We're thankful, we're thankful. We like to say we're thankful for hands and feet and food we eat. Thank you, God, for our friends and our families. And thank you for coming along. It's been great enjoying the session with you. Just before we finish with our last song, Te Araha, just to mention at the bottom of where you're looking at the video, there's a link that you can click on. It'd be really great if you could fill in your details and we can put you on our mailing list. And then we can just keep in touch and send out the links. It'd be great to keep in contact. Have a great week and we'll finish up with Te Araha. Love. And we'll do the New Zealand Sign Language. Okay. Te aroha, te whakapono, me te rangi mahi e tātou tātou me. And again. Te seeing you this week. Have a good week and take care. Ka kite. Bye bye.